Welcome back. In the last video, we created two new reports that enable Sally and her team to view the lists of sales activities. Now Sally wants to create visual charts so she can quickly see how sales are progressing and create compelling presentations for her board. Since Sally already knows how to create quick base reports, this will be a breeze. Charts are just visual reports. And Sally has lots of options, from pie charts and bar charts to bubble charts, funnel charts, gauge charts, and more. In fact, a couple sample charts came with Sally's app. If you've been following along, open your tutorial app. If you'd like to join in and build this app yourself, get the starter app as explained in video 2, Getting an App from Exchange. Then complete the previous tutorials in order. If you prefer to simply learn concepts, just sit back and watch, and then go experiment on your own. Let's check out the charts on Sally's homepage. There's a funnel chart showing customer status and a stacked bar chart that shows activities by type and duration. Sally likes the funnel chart, but she wants to see the percentages of new leads rather than the numbers. To make this change, click the menu in the right-hand corner above the funnel chart. Select Customize Report. Select Percent to display the values as percentages. While we're at it, let's change the color to highlight new leads. Click the square next to New Lead and choose a new color. Hmm, yellow looks good, but you could use your company's logo color or whatever you like. Now click Save and check out your handiwork. Great! The percentages in new color help Sally see if she has enough potential new customers in the pipeline. Sally also wants to see the amount of time our sales reps are spending with each customer, so she can make sure they are optimizing their time. Go to the Activities table and select Reports and Charts. Click New. Select Chart and then click Create. Name the chart Duration of Activities and add a description. Select all roles so that others on Sally's team can access and view this chart. Now let's select the chart type. If you're ever in doubt about what type of chart is best, you can click on Learn More about chart types. Sally thinks a pie chart will be the best way to display both the amount of time our sales reps are spending with each customer and the percentage of the total. Select Pie. Under Series, select Customer Name to view information by customer. Each value in a series is a slice of the pie. Under Data Values, select Duration to summarize the total number of minutes for each customer. Data values determine how big each slice of the pie is. Under Sorting, select Values and choose High to Low so Sally can see which customers are taking up the most time, in order, from most to least. Select Data Labels Always Visible and choose Percent so Sally can also view percentages. Scroll down and you'll see that, like Reports, this chart has dynamic filters that allow the viewer of your chart to change the way information is displayed on the spot. Select Custom to choose which dynamic filters to display in what order. Since Sally doesn't need to filter based on scheduled start date and time, select this filter and click the arrow to remove it. The Scheduled For field shows which sales rep is assigned to a customer. Filtering based on Scheduled For lets Sally see the activities for just one sales rep. So let's move this filter to the top. Click Save. The new pie chart shows duration of activities by customer. To view this chart for a sales rep, select a filter, like Albert Cruz. The pie chart now shows just the activities for the customers Albert works with. To go back to viewing the chart by customer name, click Albert's name again. You can select a slice of this pie chart and view the activities for a single customer. You can even save this drill down report as a new report to capture this information. For now, let's go back to the pie chart. Sally really likes this new chart, so let's make it a favorite. Great job! 
Sally can now see key information she needs to track her sales progress, the percentage of new leads, and the amount of time her sales reps are spending with each customer. In the next video, you'll help Sally modify her homepage so she can see her most important reports and charts at a glance. You'll also create a new homepage for Sally's sales team so they have quick access to just the information they need. Join us to create homepages.